Hey, it's Susan, Fitness from the Pro. You know, you can still work out when you go on vacation. And I've got just the thing for you. These are called loop bands. No space in your suitcase at all, just throw them right in there. And very light too. Speaking of light, these bands do come in different resistance. This orange one here is extra light. The green one is light. I'm gonna be using the medium one today and we have blue which is heavy and then the extra heavy is this gray one so they can come individual you can just buy one band at a time you can do that online or you can get a whole pack of bands and then you'll have the light or the extra light the light the medium the heavy uh, and the extra heavy if you will so think about grabbing those bands put them in your suitcase and you're ready to go. Bands will travel, and they travel very well. Okay, so let's start off with our full body workout using the loop band. And we're gonna start off with our chest, with a chest press. I like to call this shucks. I don't know why, it's my own quirkiness. But when I do this, it reminds me of, oh, shucks, you know, like shucks. So I'm gonna grab onto the band with my left hand and I'm gonna hold it down here on my belly button. Now the further down you hold it, the more resistance you're going to have. And of course the whole band, the band is in my whole hand, like making a fist. Same way with my right hand, I'm starting with my right arm. So I'm holding it at my belly button and I'm gonna bring that right arm across my body and pull it back. Exhale, press it up and across the body across the body and the thing is some people will think this is a bicep curl it is not a curl I'm not curling it here it's going across my body toward that left side of my body and I'm bringing it back so I'm starting with my right arm I'm gonna switch it out again holding on to the band holding the bottom part of the band at my belly button or lower and grab onto the band and bring it across my body and squeezing this left side of my chest. So it's like, ah oh, shucks, right? Ah oh, shucks. So that's why I call it shucks, because it comes across your body, you wanna hold it here. It is not a bicep curl, but comes across the body. Now, you wanna do 10 to 12 repetitions on each side, and of course you can do some little pulses if you want to. Moving on to the opposing muscle group, is going to be i call it the bow and arrow makes perfect sense because when you see it is i'm done you're going to hold the band in your left hand again you're holding it on you're making a fist with that hand extend that left arm directly from your shoulder and keep it shoulder height i've got my band in my right hand now I'm gonna keep my right elbow close to my body as I pull that right elbow back and release. Exhale and pull it back and release. So you can see that this is a bow and arrow. A couple things you wanna be mindful of is this elbow is not out to the side. I want you to keep it close to the body. And trust me, you will feel this underneath that right shoulder blade. Switching to the left side, making a fist with my right hand, and my right arm is gonna be fully extended from my shoulder. Left hand holds onto the band, again, making that fist. Shoulder height with the arm, pull that left elbow straight back. And I want you to exhale, and I want you to keep that elbow close to the body as the rest of your body, your abdominals are engaged. Now, remember when I said you can pulse? So you can hold it here and then just pulse back. It's keeping that right arm still, just that muscle underneath that shoulder blade is what's moving that elbow back and forth. And that is your bow and arrow. Now, we're moving on to another major muscle group. I guess I should get a chair here. Let me get a chair quick. In case you need to hold on to a chair for stabilization. Now I'm going to put the bands underneath my feet. Okay, and the bands go on top of my shoelaces. All right? On top of my shoelaces. And boy, is this a terrific exercise 
for those quads. We gotta keep those quads nice and strong, getting in and out of the car, climbing steps, and this exercise will really help with that. So you're gonna have those legs a little bit hip width apart. I want you to stand up nice and tall, ears above your shoulders, shoulders above your hips, hips above the knees and ankles. Belly button is engaged. Now, I want you to shift the weight to that left leg. You're lifting that right foot up off the floor. That right foot is flexed. Pull that knee up and lower. Try not to touch that floor in the meantime, okay? You're exhaling, keeping that core active. Exhale as you lift that knee, okay? Again, 10 to 12 repetitions. And what I like to do is hold it here and add insult to injury. Oh, tiny pulses, tiny pulses. Now, this is multitasking here, kids, because we're standing on one leg using those abdominals, and we're gonna do it on the left side, and we're also using those quads. Lifting and lowering. Try not to touch the floor in between, and if you need to, you can always grab on to that chair, keeping those abdominals fully engaged, standing up nice and tall, and then you can always add that tiny little pulse. And then finally, insult to injury once again, an isometric hold, all right? Go ahead and put that foot down, step out of the band safely, moving this off to the side, and we're just gonna shake those legs out now we're gonna come down to the ground. Now I was kind of torn, but I chose the clams <clears throat> as a fun little exercise here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the bands back around my legs, but I'm putting them up above my knees. All right, up above my knees. Now, I'm gonna roll onto my right side. You can always keep that right elbow underneath your shoulder, or you can lay down, stacking those hips on top of each other. Bring those knees so that you're an L here. Bring those knees forward. Keep the core engaged because I don't want you rocking on that bottom hip. Now listen to me, I want you to keep that left heel tight to that right heel, and you're just gonna lift that left leg up. See how my heels stay together? I'm lifting this left knee up. Now, again, like I said, be mindful here. A lot of people like to rock on that bottom hip, and they're both pulling both legs. I just want that left hip to lift. And trust me, this is a very, very effective exercise if you're looking for saddlebag erasure <laughs> or erasing that saddlebag area or affecting that saddlebag area. You just want to lift and lower and then again you want to hold it at the top and you can always do tiny little pulses at the top and then what I like to do is holding it there, keep breathing into that, keeping that isometric hold, and then you can lower that leg. And of course, you're gonna push yourself up and you would do the other side. So I just did my light right, uh, left side of my body and then bring your legs over. Once again, come into that L position and then lift that top leg. Very effective. Okay, we're gonna go back to the upper body. I incorporated the lower part of the body into our workout here. But we can stay on the ground here and we're gonna go back to the upper body and we're gonna work on those shoulders. So I am, once again, this time I'm gonna hold the band in my left hand and I'm gonna put my hand right, oh, right between my chest. My right hand is holding on to the band. I'm keeping this left hand stationary. Now I'm gonna push this right arm straight up and bring it down. It's like I'm punching the ceiling as I extend that right arm up. Those knuckles punch the ceiling. I'm keeping my left hand stationary uh, and I'm just moving my right arm or extending my right arm. Now I'm gonna switch sides here. My right arm is gonna stay stationary and I'm extending 
that left arm. Again, we want to do 10 to 12 repetitions. And sometimes I see people do this. Well, if that's all, all the range of motion you have, I recommend that you get a lighter band because I really want you to get that full range of motion uh, when you do the exercise. Okay, now we're moving on to our triceps. I'm gonna put that band over my right arm, okay? And I'm gonna take this left hand and place it on top of the band. So I hold that band nice and secure on that right arm, okay? I'm grabbing the band with my whole hand in my right hand. Now my elbow starts off bent. The left hand is just gonna keep this band on that right shoulder nice and secure. Go ahead, extend that right arm, squeezing the back of that upper arm and release. Exhale, extend. So you're working those triceps that underarm jiggle that all of the ladies really hate, but it's so good for your triceps to work it this way. It's like a little kickback. You wanna get that full extension. Again, if you're only getting this range of motion, move to a lighter band so you can get the full range of motion and get as many repetitions in as you possibly can. Moving on, placing that band under my left arm, grabbing onto the band with my left hand, keeping that right arm right here on top of the band on my left arm. Once again, I'm just gonna straighten that arm and bend. Straighten and bend. Now what I also like to do is then just bend it halfway and give me tiny little pulses. You know, maybe eight little pulses, 16 little pulses, and then finally straighten that arm out, hold it for five, four, three, two, one second, and then slowly release. And you've got your tricep work done. So let me go back to those legs one more time. I'm gonna put the, the band just above my ankles this time. Okay, so you can see how versatile the, the loop band is and it's not gonna take up any space or weight in your suitcase. Again, if you need to hold on to that chair, feel free to do so. So my legs are hip width apart. I'm keeping the tension on my band. Also working that outer thigh. Just step it out and bring it back in. This will help with your balance because you're shifting your weight from one leg to the other. Again, left leg out and in. Step together, step together. Also working that little booty right here. Okay, take the band off safely. And I have not forgotten our biceps. So I'm gonna come back down to my mat, bring the band underneath my left thigh, and I'm gonna grab onto the band with that right hand. Now I'm gonna keep my right elbow against my body, okay? I want you to think about this as like a concentration curl. Let me move this out of the way here. Think of this as a concentration curl, okay? Again, the whole hand is grabbing onto that band. Keep that right elbow tucked in. And now you're gonna pull that arm up to that shoulder. Pull it up. Squeeze that bicep. Exhale as you do so. Exhale, pull it up so those knuckles come to that shoulder. Ooh, I got a little twinge in my wrist here. Okay? And then again, you can hold it and do those tiny pulses. I'm gonna switch sides, put it on my right thigh here. My left hand's gonna hold on to it. Keep that left elbow against your body, standing up nice and tall or kneeling nice and tall. Go ahead, curl that. Bring those knuckles toward your shoulder. Exhale as you do so. This is a nice little concentration curl. And again, you can hold it halfway. Give me that tiny pulse. 
making those biceps work. And then just that isometric hold and release. And you have completed your little loop band exercises for your vacation or wherever you may be that you're, you want to work out, even at your own home. Once again, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Um, and please subscribe to the LWCA Fitness YouTube channel. It's that circle right there on the side. Just click on it. When that little bell comes up, click on it again. Then that way you will get um, notification whenever an LWCA video uh, is released. Okay? So thanks again for joining me, and you have a great vacation, and I'll see you next time.